Hi, Floss Tube. It's Janet. Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 209. If you're new to my channel, this channel is about cross stitch. So I hope you like what you see. Stick around and hang out with us. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming by again this week to spend some time and to see what I'm up to. Um, with that, we're going to start in with just a little bit of welcomes and thank yous and all that stuff. So um, I want to thanks for all the support I'm still getting. I am just as a personal note, I am still not. My union has General Motors, Stellantis and Ford out on strike, but I am currently still working. So um, that's a blessing for me. And when we're called in to play, we'll play. So um, I've had some questions in regards to that and a lot of support in staying strong. So thank you very much for that. I also have my visitor again this week of Opie. Um, he sees me get ready to set up and he comes over here and I want to address this. So uh, I get questioned about this every so often and I just figured I'd Every once in a while, I'll answer it on here. Opie is a Pomeranian Shih Tzu mix. He is, I got him in 2018, 2018. So, um, yeah, he's about five years old, right? Yeah, math. <laughs> so he's about five years old, maybe almost six. I think he turned six this year. So, um, anyway, that's what that's our information on our little Opie. He's a cute little guy. He's a he's a good boy most of the time, but he can be a barker if he thinks he needs to save the meat. Or the world from something so um, which is kind of cute my Pomeranian goes nuts and my German Shepherd stays alert and uh, knows the difference I guess let's just say all right let's get into my um, stuff in the video I have uh, in the description box below I have a happy mail link for um, I send out happy mail once a month so if you'd like to be added to that please put your information on there I also have some other links buy me a coffee coffee uh, ko-fi link I think they call it coffee link. I don't know. Anyway, uh, all of that is in the description box below, along with several friends that have online businesses. So give it a check. Um, another thing we do on this channel um, is also about my friends. So it is a featured friend segment. And if you would like to be included in this, please send an email to janetjabber at gmail.com with your um, cross stitching. It doesn't have to be fully finished. It doesn't have to be finished. If you just want to share, um, go right ahead and share. So with that, we're going to jump in and I am going to talk about Maxim. Ma Maxine. Max. Maxime. Maxime. Sorry. Maxime. Um, <laughs> she sent me these few pictures of her British Isles Adventure Sal that she stitched along with the Caterpillar Cross Stitcher. The tap tap you heard was Opie saying, hey, I'm done. Um, Anyway, I love this. I love the bright colors of this. And um, I'm sorry, I butchered your name. I I can be super bad with names. Um, I thank you for sharing that with me. I love the, the blue that you mounted it onto. I don't know if that's a bag or a pillow. I'm not sure. Um, but I love that it brings out the other color. So thank you very much for sharing that with me. With that, we're going to get into my stitching for the week. Um, my cat, if you heard the jump, uh, decided to join us and now is going to be part of our viewing also. <laughs> All right. So one thing that is a finish for now that I would like to share is my um, And Forest Grew. This I'm going to show you. This is what it will look like incomplete. This is by Rosewood Manor. Um, the blue lines on there are my drawing on a digital version that I then printed out where I broke this up into um, a section a month for the entire year and it'll be finished. And it looks so gorgeous. I get so many positive comments in regards to this piece. Um, and I'm so happy I chose to this one for the one to break up to be done in 2023. I'm just so happy about it. Are you ready? <laughs> This is what it looks like in completion, not completion, uh, in, in a finish for now. And I'm going to fold it in half and share with you what, um, I did this month. Basically, um, I did this tree. It kind of goes like this. That one was last month. So it kind of, it goes like this. Um, yeah, those were so fun to stitch and they look so real. So, um, September is finished and I'll be ready and fired up to go with October. So October, November, the words for December and it's a finish. I am so happy and thank you for all your encouragement along the way in regards to this piece. Um, it takes, I want have I ever showed you the amount of floss that it takes? This, it looks like a partial, 
like a hair. Look at this. There's all this colors is what it takes to do this piece. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing how much it takes. So there's that. I had to wrangle that with the cat deciding to come and play with us. Um, it could be a catastrophe. So that'll come back out again in October and plugging along, plugging along with that. Another thing that I'm plugging along on is my queen, my new queen, because fall has arrived. Autumn has arrived. Um, I did change decorations in my house and of uh, different fall things, not all of it, but most of it, I have things that like say fall and whatnot. So anyway, um, I'm talking to you about, as I ramble about my, um, autumn queen, this is what she looks like. My Mirabilia, she's stitched on Sparrow by Collar and Cotton. And I didn't get a lot done, but I got some done. This is what she looks like in full. And I worked basically in here. I got all these yellows in and I'm going with a lighter yellow too. So um, this week, not a lot. But fall didn't start until like halfway through last week. So, you know, there's that. When she did, when they get so filled in, they kind of get start getting complicated to fold. All right, so that is my Autumn Queen. This cat's really messing me up on how I need to put stuff out for you guys. My next one, which I stitch on a day, is um, the Great Outdoors by... Forbidden Fiber Co. My friend um, Janelle gave me this piece and I am happily stitching along on it. And this is what it looks like. Oh, look at how bright this is. So what I did this week before I came to you was this entire section. That hot air balloon is so awesome. And then I did a pile of dirt and started on the water, the ocean there. Opie is going a little absurd. Opie, you okay? animals. Um, they're always entertainment. So something else, I got a few stitches on like, I don't know, almost 500, I think. Not a lot because I want to get this finished is my Stars Hollow from the Black Needle Society. This is the spring version. And this is what it looks like in completion so far. Winter goes over here and that hasn't happened yet. And I would love to tell you I finished what I wanted to finish, but I didn't. Um, Right here is where I'm at in the spring. I was working away on this sign. This thing is going, it's going to take forever and then all of a sudden it's gonna be done in no time. So I feel like I still have like 2,300 stitches on that or something to go. This one goes into um, Markup XP for me. So that makes it enjoyable. A new start that I have for this week is my next round of Gather Pumpkins by uh, Hands On Design, the Gather, gather round little club that I had joined. And I have a very measly little start because it was one over one. And the 101, the one over one. So it's coming along, it'll get done, I have a feeling. Let's send out good vibes for that to be done this week because that's a, the third little small. I try to get a small, three smalls done every month and that's the third one. All right, the next thing we're gonna pop into is my, I do some, some uh, days of the week I have dedicated stitching spots to. Now, when I say that, I can put in an hour, usually an hour or at least a thread length, but usually an hour I give to each one of these. So um, Mill Hill Monday being my first one, this is what it will look like. Oh, look at that squirrel. And this is what my squirrel's looking like. You can see, oh, this is so cool. By showing it to you up here, I can actually see the hands and the face of the squirrel. I couldn't see that before. So that's all I got done this time is the, the light um, taupey color there. Uh, but I think that's cool that you can see the face of the squirrel. Uh, the next thing, again, I didn't meet my goal on it, um, but that's okay. I, progress is progress. So this next one is, uh, a chart by Silver Creek Sampler. This is my Wicked Wednesday fly, uh, flying lessons. I was hoping to have fly, all of the fly by night section done. Didn't happen, but I'm happy. I love how this looks. Okay, so I will, of course, have that done when I come to you next time, but I got a little bit done. Um, this is on Fiber on a Whim. Hazel is the color of this. Looks, I, I love the color. I love this fabric that, for that one. 
Now the next one, I did get my gold done on, so I'm happy about that. Um, I seem to be in the mode of uh, color completion, if for lack of better words, but again, another hands-on design. This is Bloom Chalk Full. I'm only doing the pillows. So I have, I'm color complete on three colors right now. Yay! So red and yellow got done this week. And this is on 28 Count Monaco that I tea coffee dyed myself. So that is my stitching for the week, but I have other goodness to share with you. So eh, hang in. Um, I keep saying um a lot. All right, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my whip goes for October because when I come at you next, October will have already been started and these numbers got drawn. So why not share with you what mine are? So my first one is. I don't even have it out and ready for you. Uh, my first number that got called from Whipco is Bindi Stitchy's um, Morning Sampler, Rolodex Morning Sampler. And this is where I am at. This is on Boot Camp by Be Stitch Me. I need to cut the fabric. So that's where I'm at on it. I'm sure it'll be more building of the grass and maybe some of the... Um, Maybe some of the tombstones. I don't know. We'll see what I get to. But this is where my starting point for whip go. I'm still not keen on that moon. I haven't decided what I'll do. Kind of leaving it and thinking when it comes to completion, I may like how it is. And the next one is my friend, um, Liz Matthews. I've met her in person a couple times. She's a sweetheart. I mean, she's... I call her my friend. Um, I am working on Winter Garden. That is the second call for my whip go. And, sorry, this is on a 40 count Egyptian licorice tea by Grace Notes Fabrics. And we are going to, oh, this is a fun one. Y'all, sometimes I am the queen of orders. This is where my starting point will be. <laughs> yep, just the border. <laughs> oh wait, you'll get to see when I get to see which direction I take off from the border. I do like doing my borders first. I am lovingly making fun of myself for the fact that I always, so many of them that you can find are just the border completion and then I put it away, but whatever. So that is what I will be working on for Whipco next month. I. Um, I do, so I, I don't know, I, this week I'll be pulling out like other things I'm working on in October. So I'll probably show that to you next week, what my plans are for October and we'll go from there. Uh, what else do I have? I have one more thing in my pile and then I am so excited to tell you personal stuff. <laughs> um, okay. So I got into, um, Forbidden Fiber Co's. They had a sunflower, they had a cute little gray on my go. So it was a sunflower something. And I'm all about the sunflower. So I was like, yes, me please. So it was a yarn kit and a cross stitch kit. For the yarn kit, this is the yarns. I know. <laughs> Look at those yarns. Yes. Yes, please. Again, um, still learning, but we'll put it away for the still learning. Because that seems awful thin for a hat. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these but I will learn. Oh, it's a sock mini. I don't know how to make socks yet, so we'll see. Um, the next one, I'm gonna show you the bag first because how absolutely cute is that? A little scissor pull came with it. Yes, yes. We got a needle minder in it. Yes, please. I'm going to, I'm teasing you so much. I'm gonna show you her threads for this chart. It is just all about the fall goodness. All about the fall goodness. Yes, I love these colors. And the fabric is called Babbling Brook. I got 32 count Belfast linen. Sorry for the crinkle. I just wanna show you. Yes, oh, I am so excited about that. And then last but not least is the chart that was included in it. And it says where the sunflowers are. Uh, 
I like it. I actually have a couple sunflower charts. I love this house. Uh, I So I, I may be doing a mash of Mike and my own kind of thing. Put that house in there in the center and then um, see what I do. I don't know. Still to be determined, but um, hang with me. It'll be, hang with me. I'll figure it out and we will, I will share it with you when I jump into that goodness. Um, I don't think that'll be anytime soon of a start. I don't want to do that in your ear. Um, I don't think that'll be a start anytime soon because I'm feeling the fall vibes and sunflowers for me are of course all out and beautiful right now, but that for some reason is like feels spring unless I change the fabric out and then maybe it would be fall. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, that is all my stitching I have to share with you. I uh, plans for this week are, um, I already said gather what I'm going to do in October. Uh, and some of that includes picking out my stuff for my Mirabilia um, Queen City Retreat that I'm so getting excited for, but I'm not going to go overboard because I'm flying, so it's going to limit what I take to that retreat. Um, this week, I have a sewing day with a new little sewing group that I have. I'm super excited about that. And then my stitching day with Chrissy at my local uh, cross-stitch store. And I'm looking at, I wrote a few notes down here, so that's what I'm doing. So that is my plans for this week. Um, but I have other goodness to share. So, uh, so plans I didn't buy any, well, the forbidden fiber co was kind of my buy at mail hall. So yeah, that's that. All right. So I, I think I'm in, I think I'm ready for a personal life. So let's do this. All right. Um, I did this quilt shop hop with my sister Annette this week. So we went to five different shops. We had a certain time frame to go through one of them and then, um, you turn it in and you could win a prize if you got through all of them. So I got into that. I got some goodies, but I, I don't know. I'm not sharing those goodies on here. Maybe when I finish them, if I finish the little things, I'll share them on here. Cause one of them is a table runner with pug pants. I'm so excited about trying to make that. I also bought one of those kits with the soft, here I said I wasn't showing, I'm gonna tell you about the soft books for little Ozzy to like learn her ABCs and her one, two, threes. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, Anyway, all right, so when I finish those things, I'll share. So we got a sewing day this week and my stitching day with Chrissy. So I'll stitch on Castle Homecoming this week with Chrissy. Uh, I also, oh, my husband has been working so hard on his Halloween display and I wanna share the pictures of his Halloween displays. Uh, he's doing a new twist this year. So this Halloween haunted house that we do is a free haunted house for the kids in our community. And not, when I mean community, like big, he'll get like two to 3000 kids that come through this. It's a grand night. It's cold. I'm tired, but the smiles and the giggles and the little tiny screams crack me up and I have a great time doing this, but to kind of help pay for some of that, he put sponsor, sponsor a monster out and Local places have been jumping on this. They love it. So they're, he puts a little display out about them and they, their banner, they get advertisement along the walking trail until you get to the haunted house. So um, I'm probably off the top of my mind, not going to get these right. I know he has the Grand Sweet Shop, which is a, a cookie and cake shop. Um, check this out. This little old lady that's serve the skeleton. I shouldn't say old lady, the skeleton that's serving up your cookies for you. Uh, he has a flooring company that, uh, he has these two workers working on installing a flooring and I'm thinking off the top of my head. So he also has, uh, we have an insurance guy, which has a giant, the giant monster, uh, the 12 foot tall skeleton guy, the monster. And then the last one so far, I'm drawing, oh, it's an insurance agent, I think. I think it's an insurance agent or mortgage. I'm not, it's not an insurance agent. It's a mortgage company. But uh, they're strolling along uh, because they need to talk to, I don't have the sign for that one yet. But anyway, I'm excited to share these. I'm gonna share these as they come in because like our local pizza place, uh, pizza hamburger place that we can go pick up, um, they sponsored it and that's gonna be happening. So I'm gonna show these as they come out. But um, hope you enjoyed those pictures. It was, he is having so much fun with this and we're running out of skeletons. So uh Good problem I have, super excited for this event as it completely continues to progress um, of building this thing. So with that, uh, that happened this week. And then we went to what we refer to around here as street fair with, and I took the kids went with us with little Ozzy. So here's your picture of Ozzy with the big fire ring behind it, which is just a ride. Um, she enjoyed the fair rolling around in her stroller. Uh, she sampled 
fair food. It was a fun time. Uh, we did the lap, talked and visited with a few people, and then got out of there before the crazy. I don't ride those rides, so it was fun. I love going, seeing some people, doing the things. So, and last but not least is a cute little picture of Ozzy on my casual Sunday. Uh, I was trying to clean up and do a little bit of quilting in my craft room, and Ozzy was there. So, what do you do with little kids? You hand them some goodness to keep their hands busy. So she was sorting through my fabrics with me. So that's all I have for this week. And um, I'm looking forward to a good busy week of, I don't know, good weather, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't check the weather most of the time, but whatever. So um, you hear the dog scurrying around. So somebody must be coming in. So I'm going to get out of here and let you get on to your next floss tuber. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for visiting and spending some of your time with me. So with that, please keep stitching, enjoy life. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye.